My Untold Story project is about the importance of acknowledging the truth and combating denialism and revisionism in the wake of mass atrocity. In my short film, I interviewed two daughters of Holocaust survivors whose fathers testified at trials in Germany post-World War II. I recently graduated from Harvard Law School, which I attended with the goal of becoming a human rights lawyer to work on cases of genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. Most importantly, I hope to work with communities who have experienced such atrocity to help them seek some form of justice, whatever that may mean to them. Ultimately, I was motivated to produce this story because of what justice means to me. Acknowledgement. As a descendant of Armenian genocide survivors, I know well the repercussions of not having your truth acknowledged, how it leaves a community stuck in the past. With every family story I memorized, I learned about the overwhelming pain of being denied one's truth, as the Armenian genocide, even 107 years later, remains unrecognized and denied by the perpetrating state. If an absence of acknowledgement can hurt so much, an intergenerational injustice, if you will, I wondered, is that pain alleviated for those who had some type of formal justice? What I found is that acknowledgement and recognition of the harms experienced is at the center of their definition of justice. There's a quote from Thomas Blatt, one of the Holocaust survivors featured in this video, where at the end of an interview, he remarks, you can imagine how it hurts when they say it never happened. These interviews reinforced for me that relieving that sense of a hurt is what justice efforts for mass atrocity is about. There's a question I have wrestled with for many years now. Why does an acknowledgement of these harms matter so much when survivors know it happened? Why does it matter that others acknowledge it? Why does it hurt when they deny it? I believe this is a question I will continue to ponder throughout my career and importantly, I hope to use this reflection and insight to inform my work and continue exploring how recognition and acknowledgement can be at the center of the justice efforts to which I contribute. And if there's something I hope others take away from this video, it's that everyone can be an agent for change and justice in the way we've defined it here by acknowledging the harms that others have experienced and helping to combat denialism and revisionism in the multiplicity of ways and places in which it arises in our very own communities today.